In today's video, I'm gonna introduce you to two different completely free AI image generating tools that you can use. One is called Leonardo.ai, and the other one is called Ideogram or Ideogram.ai. They both have their different strengths and weaknesses, but you can do amazing things on both of them completely for free. And I really hope that you jump all over this opportunity to use these tools and just start getting super creative because the sky's the limit with this AI art. Reezy Rezo, follow the hustle. So first up, we have Leonardo.ai. So this is the main screen for Leonardo.ai. You can see on the left corner, top left corner, you have your credits. You actually get 150 credits a day. I'm down to 92 because I've been playing around a little bit, but you can generate images for as low as one to two credits and higher up to 26 credits per image or even higher. So depending on what features you want to utilize and how many images you want to generate per turn is how many credits it's going to cost. But 150 credits a day is more than most casual users will use and enough for a power user to use to actually still get some great results out of it that can help you save a lot of time and accomplish your goals. So of course you gotta set up an account. Once you log in, you're gonna see this view that you're seeing on my screen right now. And you can see up at the top you have featured models. These are tuned models that come with different training data sets. So basically when you choose one of these, it will highly affect the output and they're all geared to do different things. You got 3D animation style, photorealistic, you got like characters for RPGs, you've got uh, vintage styles, you got things for making models or cute characters or pixel art or illustrations, uh, vintage photography style. There's a ton of different ones and you can also see right away in the home feed, top images that are showing up from other creators. There's also a setting to sort them on the uh, right side right here, which is trending, new or top. So we're actually looking at trending right now. New is literally the images that people are generating right now live. As you can see, it just changed after I clicked on it one second later. And you can heart things like this to add them to your liked profile, which makes it easier for you to keep up with them. You can already see that I've liked some of these. I mean, a lot of these are really, really great and give me a lot of different ideas for things that I would want to make. And the great thing is that like for this bat sticker, for example, you can see everything they used to make it. You can see what model they used, what settings they used, what prompts they used, what negative prompt they used. And if you want to use this to make a similar item or another version of this exact same item, you can do that as well. So let's actually go ahead and do that. On this one, we are going to copy prompt and then we're going to click generate with this model, absolute reality version 1.6. You can see it added it there. Now I'm gonna change the last prompt I use and I'm gonna put this prompt and I'm gonna go over here and make sure I copy this second line, which is the negative prompt. I'm gonna click copy. I'm gonna go over here, I'm gonna turn on negative prompt and I'm going to change that to the negative prompt. Now, theoretically, if we generate from here, we should get something very similar to that other one. Of course, it'll always be different. It's not gonna be the same, but you can see over here, this is gonna cost us 26 tokens to generate and it's gonna generate four images. This left side is the control panel. You can change everything over here. Number of images, whether or not you wanna use this and this question mark hovering it will tell you exactly what it is and what everything does. It's fairly self-explanatory and they have some guides that you can go through as well. But let's do some simple stuff like, let's just change the, the character. So printable sticker about minimal cartoon black bat white background. So let's just change it to a black cat and let's see what the difference is. So press generate and we're gonna wait and see what we get. Wow, I really like pretty much all of these results. This one has a little bit of weirdness on it. Let's see, let's go through these on a close up. And like, let's just zoom in so you can see full quality. Like this is good. You could use this as is. Underneath the image are the options, delete, download, copy to clipboard, Unizoom. This will cost five tokens. And I believe that it just zooms out to give you more of the image, which would be pretty useless in this scenario because we have everything that we need here. Also remove background. Let's run that one. I just wanna show you guys what it does. It's only gonna cost two tokens and this is a perfect candidate for background removal. Let's see if it gets this shadow out of there as well. So now that it's done, uh, you can click on this little drop down on the bottom left and then you're gonna click 
no background and let's see what we got okay it didn't do perfect right it still left some of that shadow that was in there because although this is a sticker it's like actually a photo of a sticker it looks like and so there was a shadow so that one didn't work out that good but it's very easy to remove this in Photoshop or in a free app like Photo P. Let's look at some more of these images. Another great design, but it does have a shadow around it. So that could make it a little difficult to remove the shadow because it does look like it made a picture of a sticker. Now this one is very cute. I really like this one. This one as well. The problem with this one being that the design needs a little bit more work to fix this and then this other little black outline. So although I like this design, I probably wouldn't use it just because it would be a little bit more work to achieve what I want. But out of these four, I really like this one and I really like this one. So that shows you how easy it is to alter an image and to get something else. The other thing about this, guys, is that if you're a free user, you can still use all the images to make money. You get full commercial rights use, but Leonardo AI also gets full commercial rights use for all of your images and your prompts, and they can sell those, they can repurpose them, and other users can use your images as well. But the plus side of that is that all of this stuff you see, like this picture of this beer on this beach right now, this looks like a California beach. It has what looks like California poppies in the front, kind of. You could take this image and put it on a shirt yourself. So all of these images that you can see in the public feed are free and available to be used by anybody. So nobody can say you can't use it. And that's one of the features of paying. If you pay, you can make it so that your image generations are not public, which depending on what you're using this for, it might be a very useful thing for you to explore. That image by itself would make a good sticker. It would make a good poster and it would probably sell on a shirt by itself. And if, if you wanted to download it, you would just click on it and then click download and you would have it ready to go or you could, you know, generate an image just like it. You can learn just by reading the prompt, right? So very details, beer glass, lost in beach background, t-shirt design, streetwear design, pro vector, full design, six colors only, solid colors, no shadows, full design, warm colors, sticker, bright colors. Pretty amazing, right? Let me show you a couple of the images that I generated earlier. I saw a nice design that said Tokyo and it was Japanese style and I just changed it to be New York City. Obviously the text is not very strong in Leonardo, so you're gonna have to change that. And you know, on this one, maybe fill in these edges. But I mean, look at it as far as cohesiveness, you know, it's pretty much ready to go. This one is a little bit cleaner. You're still gonna have to clean up the text but i mean delete the background clean up the text very minimal work here to get to a finished design i didn't like this one very much but i do like this one i'm just still amazed every time i use it i'm pretty amazed here's another really good one this is a coloring image this one features a church and this is a great use case that I wanna point out because you could make good money making coloring books or even you're tired of just buying coloring books, you could generate an image for your child to color based on the lesson that they're learning in school right now or things that you've talked about recently or whatever. But let's go ahead and make this one. And I'm gonna put in the prompt here and you can see this coloring page is only gonna cost me four credits so I could still make three of them, but I'm going to change it. Let's do Great Pyramids, Giza, Coloring Pages, Desert, Sphinx, Camel. And let's see what we get. Four tokens. Wow, that is actually pretty great. This is a very non-realistic picture of the pyramids at Giza, or it's maybe during the construction and different times, but that could actually be really good. Let's try that one more time and let's take out the Sphinx camel, all that stuff. Let's just do Sphinx. That actually came out really, really great. What's funny is that it made the face of the Sphinx a cat, which actually kind of goes with the design of the Sphinx because it does have paws, right? Some people say that the head of the Sphinx was originally a lion, which explains the disproportionate sizes. And this one has some wings on it. Definitely not what we were going for, but pretty, pretty interesting. And you can see how with some fine tuning, you could get it to display what you want it to display. So when Ideogram loads up, we get a lot of the same interface that we get from Leonardo. It has a less an advanced control set when it comes to controlling what is generated. We have our aspect ratio buttons over here. Up here, describe what you wanna see is where you actually write your prompt before you click generate. 
You can choose different styles. You can look through a whole bunch of styles. And of course you could also go to the recent, the trending things you're following or things that are the top most rated images. And you can just see some of the stuff that people are making these Pixar poster parodies seem to be very popular people enjoy making them but you can just see the ability for it to do the text is really great and another thing that's cool about ideogram is when you look at an image you can see what the parent image was so sometimes you make an image and you don't like the result so you say generate it again or generate it again but make it less similar to this or more similar to this. So you can follow the chain backwards to see what people learn. So this is the parent of that image. It says Angel Gabriel. And then you can look at it again. The parent of that image is this one that says Mini Victor. And the parent of that one is this one that says Mateus. Um, or this one that says Jose Emmanuel. Or, or this one, Josie Emmanuel. I don't know. I think it's supposed to be Jose or this one that says, Jesus Antonio, <laughs> Maggie Scarlet, but you get the idea. You can follow the image train backwards to see what the different inspirations are. And of course you get more ideas down here. We're seeing more from this specific person that generated this image, which is Indra 61138. And she seems to be knowing what she's doing. She's got these Halloween pictures. Looks like maybe she made them for her kids or for her friends. A Picasso looking Sally. Lots of cool stuff going on here, guys. But you don't have to be completely original with these. You can take what someone else did and you can make your own. You want to make a baby Reezy resells? Let's make a baby Reezy resells. So kawaii newborn baby boy, brown hair with a pacifier wear, baby costume sleeping on top of the name. Maggie Scarlet. Nope. Reezy resells. Here we go. Generate. You can just see the progress over here. 23%. We're going down the line. Oh, look how cute he is. And I'm glad it made four. They're not done rendering yet, but you can see that three out of four were spelled completely wrong. 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 But this one's actually correct. So over here, you see we got baby Reezy resells. That's exactly what I looked like when I was born, right? So just chilling. How'd they get a picture of me? That's crazy. Let's try to make a beach scene on a t-shirt. Vintage beach design with surfboard and palm tree sunset and that says Santa Cruz, which if you don't know, that's where I'm from. Something like this would be a great t-shirt that a tourist would buy. Okay, let's see what we got here. Santa Cruz, Santa Cruz, it put it twice if once wasn't enough. And it added mushrooms, which is actually really fitting, but not what we wanted. This is great, but still not what we wanted. This is kind of what I wanted, but not quite there. And this design is actually pretty good. It's not ideal, but I'm guessing this would sell with minimal to no adjustments at all um, as far as tourism here goes. Let's try again. Beach, surfboards, Santa Cruz, clean edges. This actually is kind of cool and very simple. Just a vintage sunset design with a surfboard and palm tree silhouette in it. I honestly like this. I would just remove this weird design from the edges. I would remove that and I think that would be a shirt that would sell really well on dark t-shirts. Not useful for what we need, not useful for what we need. And this one, it's debatable. This is actually kind of cool too, although I don't really want to put squares like this on a t-shirt. It might make a good poster or a good coaster look good on a coffee mug or something. Let's say, you know, I'm making a video and I needed a, an image. I don't think that ideogram would be the best for that. I think it's more, in my opinion, geared towards making images that have text in them because it's just something that a lot of AI image generating tools can't do. Let's say I needed like a photo of a shopping cart full of Lego at Walmart. Overflowing with Lego at Walmart. Let's see what happens there. It's funny, it doesn't understand boxes. Uh, instead, it just did like loose Lego bricks, which I mean, it works. You were only gonna see that for a couple seconds. Photo of a shopping cart overflowing with sealed boxes of Lego at Walmart. Let's see how different that is. So it definitely got the memo and it did boxes. They don't look like Lego boxes though. So it's not exactly gonna work, but you know, this one kind of looks like a Lego box. 
and for a quick flash something like this would be all right and before we go forward i actually want to look up let's see what the rules are for ideogram so we clicked on the help thing and then clicked on docs this is about ideogram so it's not ideogram it's ideogram so I guess that solves that. They have a whole thing about how to make images and everything. And can I use ideogram for commercial use? Please see terms of service. Let's see, user input and user output. As part of your use of the services, you may be able to input, post, upload, and submit information to the services. And you may direct the services to generate and output new content based on your user input. We do not claim any ownership rights in your user input or user output. And we do not restrict your ability to use user output for your own purposes, including for commercial purposes. Great. So that means along with Leonardo, you can also use all of the art for Ideogram. However, unlike Leonardo, Ideogram is not saying that they're going to claim a piece of the pie. So they're not going to use your images. They're apparently all for you. So it does look like you can use someone else's image except for if you pay and then they give you the non-public option to display your artwork that is extremely useful to understand that hopefully if i was successful this video inspired you to at least sign up for some ai art accounts and start playing around with them and seeing what you're capable of and what you can do if you like this video or you want to see more ai content on the channel specifically how to make money or even just you know all the new cool ai stuff please let me know in the comments any input you can provide will be helpful i will hopefully in the future be focusing more on how to make money on print on demand using ai which is going to include what platforms you can put your art on and how to do research so that the stuff you make is actually stuff that people are already looking for and it's going to sell using organic traffic and so much more i'm really excited about ai ai art chat gpt all that stuff and i'm also excited to share that stuff with you guys as well so hopefully you like this video and i'll see you guys on the next one peace